How to keep your career moving upwards is a question most of us think about. Yet pretty much everyone would like career progress, otherwise we'd be stuck doing the same job for a very long time. Some want to reach lofty career goals yesterday, others are happy with a much slower, steadier progress. Plenty of people get stuck at a given level in their careers and can't seem to progress further. I was promoted 13 times in 13 years from trainee to board director of a large company while still in my 30s. Five of those promotions were gained while moving company. I share four critical lessons needed for how to keep your career moving upwards and they are firstly choose a career goal and stick to it. Secondly cultivate a learning mindset. Third a positive attitude gets you ahead and fourth moving company is probably a necessity. I'm assuming that you are happy to work hard and you are doing a good job right now. Both are fundamental to keep your career moving upwards, but not enough in themselves for regular promotion. These four actions will help you get ahead and stay ahead of your peers at every level. The first action for how to keep your career moving upwards is choose a career goal and stick to it. To really keep your career moving, it is best to keep working consistently at developing skills in a specialised area until you're very good before moving to doing something different. Each time you change direction you have to step backwards, sometimes back to entry levels. Consistently getting better year after year will get you a long way in any career. I moved up the ranks as a chartered accountant, making it all the way to board level at a large company before I changed course. The consistency of my career goal helped me massively in actually achieving it. I spent as little effort as possible outside what was needed to achieve my main goal and all the time and effort I could in service of reaching my goal. I got there a lot quicker because of it. Choose a goal and stick to achieving that goal. Most people aiming for management roles can choose the head of, of their function as a default goal if you're struggling. The higher you climb up the career ranks, the harder it becomes to move up the next step. I think that you really have to want to reach your goal to put in all that extra effort and time into overcoming the hurdles and challenges in the way of achieving your goal. Choose a goal that you really want to reach. The second action for how to keep your career moving upwards is to cultivate a learning mindset. I think that this is one of the most important actions to keep your career moving upwards. At every level, as you go through the professional ranks into the management ranks, you need to learn new skills and new approaches. If you don't learn, you won't be nearly as effective in your job and therefore you won't progress your career. People with learning mindsets or growth mindsets look for opportunities to learn and improve from everything. Your inside work, outside work, successes, failures, the lot. People with a learning mindset believe at the core of their being that when they work to learn and improve, they will keep getting better. People who cultivate a growth mindset are simply more successful. When you start learning anything, you'll experience failures and setbacks. This is totally normal and part of the learning process. To get good at anything, you have to pick yourself up and try again. Do this again and again, and providing you're learning throughout, you will get good. As you keep your career moving upwards, spend more of your time and energy improving your people skills. If you're in the management ranks, people skills are the most important set of skills for you. More and more of your job is leading, persuading, building relationships, coaching, teaching, directing, organising others. Everything to do with helping other people deliver more in their jobs. At every level, if you want to keep your career moving upwards, you must keep yourself open to learning. Even better is to actively seek to learn and get better at every opportunity. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses teaching you how to be a great manager and build high-performing teams. I've included links to additional resources that you will find useful in the description. And don't forget to visit us at Enhanced.Training for courses to improve how well you manage your team. Building skills and your ability to deliver better results is a great way to keep your career moving upwards. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. The third action for how to keep your career moving upwards is a positive attitude gets you ahead.
People like working with positive, can-do colleagues. You know, positivity makes working life more enjoyable for everyone around them. People who are positive are more likely to be liked by colleagues and customers. Positive people are probably more likely to learn and try new things too. When managers are considering people for promotion, you know, those that have a positive attitude and approach are much more likely to get the promotion than colleagues that are negative, complain a lot, etc. If managers need to reduce headcount because of a downturn, those that are negative and downbeat are much more likely to go before more positive colleagues. Work on your attitude. Work at being a stronger team player. Help those around you when you have the opportunity. Pass on your skills and knowledge to others. Help your boss look good and do a better job. Smile and be a pleasure to work with. Take on new tasks with enthusiasm. There is so much you can do to show that you have a positive will-do attitude and 9 times out of 10 you'll get rewarded for having this positive attitude. The fourth action for how to keep your career moving upwards is to realise that moving company is probably a necessity. Unless you work for a very large company employing thousands of people, you are likely going to have to move company to keep your career moving upwards. There are only so many suitable promotion opportunities available in any company at any given time. Your boss might not want to move their career forward as quickly as you do, so they become a blocker to your career progress. Most of you will need to move company to keep your career moving up forwards. Being good at writing CVs and passing interviews are specific skill sets that most don't spend enough time to build. This is a mistake. How good you are at communicating exactly what you can do and how well you can do it are vital to getting access to the better jobs, i.e. those jobs that are promotion opportunities in good companies with great development opportunities to keep your move, uh, career moving upwards. There are plenty of dead-end jobs out there. Being good at getting through the recruitment process will help you avoid them. Invest the time to get good at writing your CV and passing interviews. This has been incredibly valuable to me and I think they are, these are essential skills in today's workplace. I gained 5 of my 13 promotions this way. I put a link in the description to a free webinar sharing over 40 actionable techniques to improve how you write your CV and communicate how good you really are at your job. Register and write your best CV and get way ahead of your peers with averagely written CVs. The link's in the description. So in summary, hard work and being good at your job is not enough in itself to keep your career moving upwards. These four actions will help you keep moving forwards regardless of what job you do. Firstly, choose a career goal and stick to it. Secondly, cultivate a learning mindset. Third, a positive attitude gets you ahead. And fourth, moving company is probably a necessity for most. If you have any questions on how to keep your career moving upwards, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to take a look at the resources in the description which you will find useful. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.